time. I was unaware of the fact that point-and-click games were still being made. I got used to all these new games coming out for this and that console, making me miss the good old days when you actually had to think, hey, what would I do in this situation? Do I look through the trash? Do I talk to that quiet old man by the bus stop? Do I smell? Well, you get the picture. For those who are too young to know what point-and-click adventure games are, I hate you. These are the games that have those icons of an eye, a hand, a mouth, possibly but not always a nose, and an inventory of items that you pick up along the way. These were made popular in the late 1980s and early 90s by game developers such as Sierra and LucasArts. Resonance is a relatively new indie game developed by Wadget Eye Games, a game developer specializing in point-and-click adventure games. If you're used to seeing the extravagant, realistic graphics of games as, say, Grand Theft Auto V, this game is not for you. I mean, really. Look at this. If you're used to jumping around and having powers like you do in games such as Infamous, this game is not for you. I mean, look at this. If you're looking to kill people with swords and guns and things, just go home. You have problems. Resonance uses classic point-and-click gameplay in this wonderfully weaved story revolving around four main characters. Ed, Anna, Detective Bennett, and Ray. Initially, you play each character separately, finding out their backstory, until they eventually all come together into one party. Then, you have the option to choose who leads the party, depending on what's needed in the situation. In fact, sometimes, you even need more than one character to do the task. Having played point-and-click games before made things fairly simple. You pick up objects, go to places through the map, talk to people, blah 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 the usual. Okay, that's a bit of a lie. There are puzzles that are difficult and I wouldn't have figured it out without a walkthrough. On a more serious note though, what struck me most about this game was the narrative. You encounter some strange stages, bump into equally strange characters, and run into some serious twists and turns in the plot. Without giving anything away, I'd say that this game is pretty darn exciting to play, especially for retro lovers such as myself yearning for that nostalgic feeling once again. I hear it even won several awards in its release in 2012. Good job, Wadget Eye Games! Make more of these for me, okay? Now, why are we bringing you Noob Tube? Because we understand that not everybody is a gamer. What is a noob anyway? A noob is a newbie, yeah. a yes. beginner. Uh, Do you know how that word was, how it oh, came about? Well, I, I, I don't know newbie. the etymology of it, but yeah, newbie, and it's been, it's it's most popularly used in games when like people try to try to trash talk other beginners and they call them noobs. Sometimes it's spelled with two zeros. Yeah, and I understand that you know a lot of people aren't gamers, so we're here to explain these type of games to them. Uh -huh. 